Since the IndyCar video was uh, pretty well received, I figured I might as well do the F1 side of things. This is going to be a video about my complete F1 collection as far as uh, Spark goes. I think I might throw in some Mini Champs and some Buragos in there, but this is mainly just mainly the Spark F1 collection. I started collecting back in back when the pandemic was raging on back in the early spring, and I'm like, you know, I this is going to be a nice collection to start off with. I started off with some uh, Toro Rosso cars, started off with the, with the Claire Ferrari, and now we're up to a pretty sizable collection here. So let's get, the, get into the nit and gritty things. Without further ado, let's go over the current Formula One Spark 143rd scale collection. The first one up is the Daniel Ricciardo Barcelona test from the, from the 2020 test over in Catalonia. This is the all-black livery. There's nothing to it other than just a black car. Um, they went with a full test livery. And some, of, some of these test liveries look pretty, pretty awesome some, some, on some of these cars. Here's a full-out 360 view of what you got here with this Renault F1 car as far as the test car goes. This is what it looks like. Absolutely be beautiful. I've yet to do a review on this, but we ought to do just that. Next one up is Lando Norris's 2020 Barcelona test car, the McLaren MCL35, the 2020 version of the car. You know, this is, um, I always love the McLaren Papaya Orange on these cars. They look really awesome. And I figured, I wanted, I wanted to get at least one of each, one of each car for the Barcelona tests, you know, because this is where the preseason tests are. You know, this is where give, this basically they debuted all the liveries, minus, you know, of course, you know, the Renault. And, um... This is a really good chance to collect, you know, some 2020 F1 models. And, of course, I might get some of the Styrian GP cars and, of course, the Italian GP winner for Pierre Gasly. But, you know what? I want to at least get one, all the preseason test cars, one of each. This way we can have, like, a full-out, complete collection there. But this is the McLaren for Lando Norris. I didn't get the Carl Sainz one. I just got Lando. I figured that was a pretty popular one. Pierre Gasly's uh, Brazilian GP car. This is the car he finished on the podium with at Brazil. Absolute beautiful race car. I love the old Toro Rosso cars. I mean, I, the Alphatari is really growing on to me. I actually got both Alphataris for the Barcelona test, but for some reason, I just, I'm just i a sucker for these old uh, Toro Rosso liveries. They looked really, really freaking cool. Let's, open, let's take this thing out right here. Let's slide it out here. There she is. There's the Toro Rosso car. It also does come with um, the race-winning trophy. It, or not race-winning trophy, excuse me, the second-place trophy. There's a the second-place trophy right embedded there. And there's the car from the right side. You know, um, I wish they would made more of these Toro Rosso cars because they really were just awesome-looking race cars. You know, you go from um, vibrant, almost day-glow kind of red and blue and they go to like matte. It's a complete contrast. Both of them worked, however, but for some reason, I'm just a real big sucker for these Toro Rosso cars. Speaking of going one from one livery to another, this is uh, Pierre Gasly's 2020 version. This is the 2020 version he tested over at Barcelona, and uh, this is the this is new, newest form of the Alfatari cars. Uh, you know, they they switched over from Toro Rosso to rebrand themselves to this kind of this name, and they they kind of. Uh, Went with a whole different livery here. You know, they re they went from a vibrant red and, and blue to more of a matte kind of finish. But, you know, this is really, really cool. I really do enjoy the Alphatari cars. I'm going to collect mo all the Gaslys from this year because I know Gasly they're going to make the Italian GP winner. They have the Styrian GP car coming out for um, Spark later on this, this year. So I'm hoping to collect that as well. But overall... These Alphatari cars, still pretty friggin' awesome. The Sergio Perez uh, BWT Racing Point car from the Barcelona test in 2020. Uh, this is uh, quite a bit different than what uh, Lance Stroll's car in 2019 looked like as far as uh, livery-wise goes, but um, it's overall not too bad at all. Um, I know this will be rebranded as Aston Martin Racing, so I figured, you know... Might as well pick up the last Racing Point cars, last Racing Point liveries, rather, and before they switch over to Aston Martin, because that's going to be a really good team. You know, they're going to have Lance Stroll, and they're going to have Vettel on the team, so I know they're really, really going to deliver some major, major results. 
I know Vettel's going to do a great job, so don't. So uh, there's no questioning about that. He really spent his last year Ferrari just not giving a crap. And quite frankly, the car is just, was absolute rubbish. So he's going to a lot better car. And he's going to a, a team that could possibly win him another championship. The Lance Stroll BWT Racing Point car. This is from the Formula 1 race over in China last year, which was the 1,000th Formula 1 race to be held. So they made all the te all the models based off of that race. And I managed to get the uh, the Racing Point car version of it. But it just, this is still a very nice looking car in general. I mean, I know I got also the 2020 versions. I think I like the 2019 version just a little bit better. But let's take it out here. This is the car itself here. Now, of course, you know, this is going to be rebranded as Aston Martin Racing as we proceed on to the 2021 season. So, no longer it's going to be Racing Point. I imagine they're probably going to keep a very sim. Not I don't know if they're going to keep a similar livery because the Aston Martin colors are all colored green. So, you know, it might be a really completely different looking car next year. We had the Pierre Gasly. Now we have the Danny Kafiat version of the AlphaTauri car. I don't know where Danny's going to be next year. Or this year, because it's now 2021. I know where he's going to be, but, you know, he seemed like he did a pretty decent job in the equipment he had. But hopefully, we'll hopefully wish him best of luck in future in Dalvers. We'll leave that there. Uh, but this is his 2020 Barcelona Test AlphaTauri car. Is there from the front end. And it's the right side. Um, you know, like I said before, you know, these Alphatari cars were just absolutely, they're absolutely beautiful. You know, gotta get, I had to get used to them at first, but now they're really starting to grow on me. The Max Verstappen 2019 Brazilian GP winner. This was the race where Verstappen took the race win, and my boy Pierre Gasly uh, finished on the podium. And uh, I actually have both of those cars. Yeah, this is um, Verstappen's race winner, though. For all the guys who love uh, Verstappen, I know he's a very, very popular driver. That's no secret at all. There's the car itself right here, and let's slide her out. And I love the variations of the how different cars have all the different tires. You know, this has the soft compound on them, and this comes with a little little trophy here. That's what it, that's the trophy right there. And this, this case is a little cracked, but you know, I didn't really pay too much attention to that but here's the car itself and it's plastic encasing you know, I, for some reason I just absolutely love the Red Bull cars with the matte finish on them they look absolutely amazing with that here we go and that is the 2019 version now let's go over to 2020 here's the Max Verstappen 2020 Barcelona test model this is the 2020 version of the car. We just went over the Brazilian GP winner. There's some subtle differences between the two of them, but overall, I just I just absolutely love the uh, Red Bull cars. For some reason, they always just stick out to me. And you know what? I love the matte finish on them. Quite frankly, you know, like I was still a fan of those when they had the bright, vibrant colors when Vettel and uh, Mark Webber were on the team. But you know, they went a completely different route when Verstappen came along. And you know, and this these cars look absolutely just amazing. And I probably should have gotten the Albon, but I didn't as of yet. I might go ahead and go change that, because that might have to be a very worthy purchase. Valtteri Bottas' is, uh, Mercedes car from 2020. This is the Barcelona Test model. Of course, this is the Barcelona Test because this is the Silver Arrows. Uh, before the pandemic happened, uh, they were they had the silver cars, and then when um, the season started, they had the all-black livery, and I think they're continuing the all-black livery as of for now. Um, there's the back of the box there, has the old silver paint job on it. And uh, I, can't, I honestly can't wait to pick up the Styrian GP version, because I want the Styrian GP version to compare the two of them. But this, I think, you know, for some reason, that black is now really, really, and I mean really growing on to me. So I would like to pick up both the Silver Arrow version and the black version of the car. So I don't know if I want Hamilton or Botas, but, well, we all know that's going to be thrown to the wayside if they offer a George Russell uh, secure GP car. Because if they offer a George Russell, I'm going to bypass these two guys, and I'm going right for the Russell. 
So we'll have to see about that when that comes out. Robert Kubica's uh, Alfa Romeo car. This is the car he tested over at over at Catalonia. Um, they tested a little bit for the Alfa Romeo racing team. I know he drove for Williams the previous season before, but he did test drive for Alfa Romeo and uh, was a. You know, this is a very nice looking test car. I figured, you know, I get the Jov I got the Giovinazzi, but I figured, you know, I'll get the Kubica because you know what. When's the next time you're going to see a Robert Kubica test car be made, you know? It's something that you don't normally see every day. So I figured this was the perfect thing to have. And I never did a review on this, but, you know, I think this ought, that, that really ought to change. There's the car on the front, the front end. There's the right. And these sparks look absolutely amazing here. Let's we'll just from the top here. There we go. And that's all she wrote for the Kubica car. The, and lastly, the Antonio Giovinazzi car. This is the car I tested at Catalonia for uh, the 2020 uh, open season test, free season test. You know, these Alfa Romeo cars look absolutely beautiful. I wanted to, get, I should probably get the Kimi Raikkonen version, but I decided to go with the Giovinazzi instead. I know my friend Kyler wants to go for the Kimi Raikkonen, so that's one extra save for him, I'll tell you that. And, uh, you know, the, the, these, these cars, man. You can't go wrong with them. I really love how the proper Alfa Romeo car look colors have been implemented onto this car. And got metallic red on it. Looks stunning. I mean, it really does. Hard to believe this. I mean, I know Sauber still operates this team, but, you know, it's still hard to believe that they went from, like, a plain blank Sauber car to an Alfa Romeo just like that. It's unbelievable, really. But, you know, they did a really good job with this car. And um, hopefully, in the coming weeks and months and possibly next year, hopefully we have quite a few more cars to uh, put in the collection video. But this is after just one year of collecting. So I'm hoping that you guys really enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. This is Robbie Noonan reminding you to join Fight to Stop Bullying. It does get better. Diecast Kid is always happy to see you.